attention, girl, I know you But you're everything I want in life We're fighting danger like Kung Fu The love I feel Okay guys, so the first thing I'm doing is priming my skin with Bare Minerals Prime Time, which I always use and is cruelty free. So I'm just applying that to my skin and then going in with my all time favorite foundation, which is also cruelty free, which I'm not gonna keep saying because everything in this is cruelty free pretty much. Um, and I'm just using a Real Techniques brush to apply this all over my skin for a full coverage effect. Moving into the eyes, I'm priming them with my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay because I didn't have a cruelty free eye base. I did have an Urban Decay one, but it was kind of old so I thought I'd just use a concealer. Then I'm going in with Makeup Geek shadows. So the first one I'm taking is Mirage and I'm just using a large eyeshadow brush to apply this all over the lid. Then I'm going in with Peach Smoothie which as you can see is very well loved. I love this one as a transition shade in my crease, so I'm just buffing that in with a Sigma E40 brush. Then I'm going in with a darker shade called Frappe, and I'm just using this in the crease a little bit more precisely than I used Peach Smoothie, but I'm just buffing in the outer corner and the crease. Also guys, the brushes aren't all cruelty free. I did try to use mainly synthetic ones because I wanted this to be as cruelty free as possible but if any aren't cruelty free I will have that listed down below so you guys know. Right now I'm using Americano though in the outer corner with a synthetic Urban Decay brush and then I decided to bring it into the inner corner to create a halo type of eye. So I'm just buffing this shade into the inner and outer corner and then joining it up through the crease. And I did have to go in and add a fair bit of this product and layer it up as I was blending because as you're blending darker shades, they do tend to blend away and turn lighter. So as you can see, I'm using the opposite end of the brush here just to pack on a little bit more of the shade. And then I flick back to the opposite end, which is the blending end and just keep blending. And then here I'm just going back to the E40 brush and just blending out those edges. Just a lot of blending so if you're in doubt just literally pick up that blending brush and keep on going. Then I'm taking my favourite shade which is Grandstand and this is a foiled eyeshadow. It is literally the most beautiful champagne rose gold colour ever. So I'm just using my finger to apply that and then I'm going back in with the Urban Decay blending brush to blend the edges and then going back in with Americano because again the shade gets blended away as you blend so I am just adding more of that colour. Here I'm going in with Corrupt and I'm just taking a flat definer brush from Models Prefer and I'm just doing a line along my upper lash line and then going in with the Eye of Horus black eyeliner pencil and tight lining with this and then lining over the top of my upper lash line again just to make sure it's super like dark and smoky and I just used the opposite end of the brush with the little spongy tip just to smudge it out and make sure it was nice and smoky. Then once again I'm going in with Americano, I'm taking this on a Sigma crease, no, pencil brush I'm sorry, and I'm just focusing this in the inner corner and outer corner again and then drawing a little line along the crease um, just to make it a little bit more precise but I just really wanted that colour to be built up and not be super light and blended out. But once again I just blended the edges a little bit. And then I took Grandstand again just to pack that right on the center and make sure it popped. Then I'm curling my eyelashes and the only thing in this tutorial that's not cruelty free is this mascara. I did not have a cruelty free mascara, I'm so sorry guys. But I'll have some options listed down below for you. And then the lashes I used were natural human hair so they were cruelty free as well. Then I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in light warm, popping this under my eyes and through the center of my face to highlight. 
I'm just using the same brush I used for my foundation just to press this into the skin. Then to set all my concealer in place, I'm using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Setting Powder on a Morphe G6 brush, I believe it is. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea, I'm pretty sure it's called. And I'm using a Nude by Nature brush just to buff this onto my cheekbones and around my hairline. And I did take a bit down my neck and onto my chest because I was very, very fair and I wanted everything to be nice and matchy matchy. And then for blush, I'm using Milani Luminoso. As you can see, a lot of these products are some of my all time favorite products. So I was so happy to learn that a lot of them were cruelty free already. Then I just used my foundation brush to make sure the edges were nice and blended and I highlighted using the Urban Decay 8 Hour After Glow Highlight in the shade Sin and this is one of my all time favourite highlights. I've forgotten how much I loved it. It's so finely milled and so beautiful. It is one of my all time favourites for sure. And then I set everything using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I popped on my lip colour, so I used Colourpop Lippy Pencil in the shade Westy. Um, Colourpop is all cruelty free, which is so amazing for such an affordable brand. And then BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Tabitha. And then I just cleaned up the edges with a little angled brush and moved on to my under eyes. So I took Frappe again and just used my Sigma E40 to buff this all the way under the lower lash line. And then I took Americano again on my Sigma E40 and just used this in more, more of the outer third. And then taking the black liner I used earlier from Eye of Horus, I just lined along my lash line, not in my waterline, just along the lash line. And then I used the opposite sponge end to smudge it into the lash line. And then just use some lower lash mascara and the look is complete. I really, really hope you guys enjoy this cruelty free look and let me know if you want me to do any more. I will definitely do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.